all right students let's discuss the questions that were asked in the neat pg examination from the subject of psychiatry there were five questions uh, straight forward questions and uh, uh, two questions were actually nice so let's start <coughs> okay i i like this question a patient with schizophrenia who did not respond to haloperidol and thiazidine so patient has not responded to two different antipsychotics right was started on a drug on drug a now if a patient does not respond to two different antipsychotics we call that patient as a patient with treatment resistant schizophrenia the most acceptable definition says that out of two antipsychotics one should be atypical antipsychotic which is not the case here both haloperidol and thiazidine are typical antipsychotics but nonetheless we will call it trs because the definition of trs is not a singular definition there are multiple definitions of trs the most well accepted definition includes that one one of the antipsychotics should be atypical but that is not a mandatory thing right so our diagnosis just by reading the uh, first statement is that the patient has trs treatment resistant schizophrenia what is the drug of choice for trs you know the answer clozapine but let's look at the second line after starting drug a the patient's psychotic symptoms improved so patient has shown improvement however he developed sialuria another important mcq which has been asked multiple times which is the antipsychotic to be commonly associated with excessive salivation hypersalivation answer is again clozapine dyslipidemia weight gain hyperglycemia which antipsychotic is most commonly associated with metabolic syndrome maximum weight gain clozapine so there are multiple indicators in this question which are pointing towards clozapine finally they ask a the question which is the drug a answer is b clozapine i hope you guys got it correct all right second question some students said that the question said a medical student some said a middle aged female right either way it does not really make any difference a middle aged female presented with complaints of repeated episodes of around 30 minutes which were characterized by breathlessness palpitations sweating hyperventilation and a fear of impending heart attack when you read these five symptoms and when you are told that it was an episode of around 30 minutes repeated episodes of increased anxiety what are they what are these episodes these are episodes of panic attacks right repeated because you know panic attack comes as an episode so they are most likely panic attacks she has been having these panic attacks 5 to 6 times a month in the last 6 months and the investigation did not reveal any obvious abnormality of course ct scan uh, i'm sorry ecg eco all of those came out to be normal what is the likely diagnosis if the panic attacks are happening again and again our diagnosis becomes panic disorder the answer is option a panic disorder some students by mistake marked it gad they thought that symptoms have been uh, of anxiety and they are continuing for more than 6 months so it's gad please remember never ever mark the answer on the basis of duration only right please don't go that way uh, it's very unlikely that an examiner will ask you a clinical question which would be diagnosed on the basis of the duration of symptoms so please don't do that more importantly gad does not present with really episodes in in gad the symptoms are like you know we, we call it free floating anxiety patient is always anxious in gad so here we have clear cut episodes they are even saying that there are 5 to 6 episodes per month so it goes a lot towards panic disorder than gad of course we have nothing to suggest depression or social phobia here so the answer is option a panic disorder all right again a uh, repeat question but a repeat question given in the form of a clinical vignette this is the difference husband and wife presented to the opd with complaints of premature ejaculation which is leading to the frequent conflict between the husband and the wife husband has pme the couple is having conflicts because of that it's a common clinical scenario also which of the following non pharmacological technique is appropriate for the treatment so we have read about it there are two techniques which are usually used in patients with pme the first one is called as squeeze technique the second one is called as stop and start technique what happens in squeeze technique the couple is told that the moment the guy feels that he is about to ejaculate when he feels that the ejaculation is about to happen the penis is squeezed using a thumb and two finger it can be done by the wife the partner or by the patient himself when you do that the ejaculatory jo wave the ejaculatory wave kind of gets aborted and the ejaculation is halted the patient doesn't ejaculate so when you squeeze and you have to squeeze you know uh, to an extent where it is substantial but it should not cause pain so when that is done the ejaculatory wave suddenly gets aborted and the sexual activity can be continued 
The same thing happens with stop and start technique. So we have got squeeze technique and we have got stop and start technique. Stop and start technique is self-explanatory. When the patient feels that he is about to ejaculate, he stops having sexual activity. The sexual thirsts are stopped. He waits for a few seconds and when he feels that the ejaculation wave is gone, then he can start the sexual activity again. So squeeze technique. Sensate focus technique can also be used for the treatment of sexual disorders like erectile dysfunction or premature ejaculation. But the question is here asking specifically for PME and we have a technique which is specific for PME. So that of course becomes a, the more preferred answer. So sensate focus technique though can be used would not be the treatment of choice. ERP has no role here as such. CBT can be done but again not specific. So squeeze technique remains the best answer out of all the options. Question 4 and 5 both were on Verney case basically. As you can see, patient with chronic alcohol use presents with a classical triad of confusion, ataxia and ophthalmoplegia. He has got 6 nerve palsy and he has got nystagmus. So we know that the triad of Verney case is global confusion. The mnemonic goes as GOA. We have got ophthalmoplegia. which is most commonly because of 6th nerve palsy and the second most common reason is 3rd nerve palsy and then we have got ataxia. So GOA is classically Wernicke encephalopathy. In Korsakoff syndrome, we primarily have symptoms like amnesia and confabulations. We have not been given any history regarding those things. There is no history of delirium tremens and D. Clarembault syndrome or delusion of love where the patient feels that somebody is in love with them even no history suggestive of that is given. So a, a very straightforward question Wernicke's encephalopathy. There was another question where again they have said that the patient has chronic alcohol use, there are symptoms of Wernicke's and now they asked which vitamin deficiency is responsible for it. So we know that Wernicke's encephalopathy as well as Korsakoff syndrome is caused by deficiency of thiamine, vitamin B1 deficiency. Uh, and some students said that along with the vitamin name, they had also given the name of enzymes uh, where thymine acts as a coenzyme. So uh, not sure about that, but uh, either way, the vitamin options were given and uh, we know that Verney case is caused by thymine deficiency. So all five questions were pretty straightforward and say this is what we have been saying. Uh, Neat PG examination uh, in particular tends to follow a pattern and we should, when, when we prepare, we should be more focused on covering all those topics to the best possible extent which are repeatedly asked. After that, whatever you want to read, you can do that, right? So we have to be very focused in our preparation and uh, those who would be preparing for the next year, please take note of the kind of questions that were asked in the NEET PG examination. Thank you.